a few years ago, I flew into uh, here into Holland, and that uh, that company that you just mentioned said, "There's this guy that's coming in, and he is going to talk to us about our branding. Would you mind speaking with him?" And I said, "You know, it was jet lag." And I said, <laughs> "I said I really don't want to speak I about branding." I didn't, I didn't recognize you. <laughs> How are you? Good nice to, see to see you. I said, <laughs> I said uh, uh, to the man who's named after a city in Paris, <laughs> or a city in France, sorry, I gave that away. It's called Nice, right? Yeah, I said, no, I really don't have time. I'm tired, I won't. Uh, and uh, talk about branding. And, and, and it, this is interesting. It's, it's, it was a fulfilling experience. I went, and I realized, or you helped me realize, that um, it wasn't about marketing in the sense yeah. that I thought it would be. Yeah. It was really about the people. Yeah. And, and it was helping, in your case, in that situation, I don't know how it is generally, uh, but it was about the people there understanding what they wanted and what they needed. Yeah. It was fascinating. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks for that comment. Um, yeah, and you just kind of like added to what I was saying about what I think brand is today, because that's really it. That's really it. And I think that, you know, if you, if you, if you work through any social organization, the more common belief values, the more common narrative you've got, the more cohesion you've got. That applies to a family as much as it applies to the world's largest corporation or a country. If there's common belief values in a narrative, you've got cohesion. Where there's cohesion, amazing stuff happens. It's simple, actually. It's dead simple. That applies to a football team, a family, a crew on a super yacht, the world's largest corporation, Apple, or a country. It's absolutely true. <laughs>